Greetings and welcome to an absolutely crazy Timberborn experiment video. I'm Catherine of Sky and apparently the crazy one. A couple of people posted a hypothesis in the comments. What if you were to create a perpetual motion machine of a few water wheels in a row, feeding them from a dam and then pumping out the water and putting it back into the reservoir? I thought it couldn't possibly be worth it, since it would take a whole city of beavers to man the pumps and dumps, and how much power could it really generate? And then I paid special attention to how water flows in this game, and how much depth was actually required to turn a water wheel. Turns out you don't need much. Flow is quite important, and as long as you have a sufficient amount to cover an elevation level, it should creep down to a point of lower elevation, and it draws more water after it. Thus, I built a prototype to the extremes to test this concept, and I just wanted to share it with you because it's a tiny bit nuts. At first, I built everything with the beavers. I completed almost all the course with beaver power and spent many hours on it. But then I discovered a mod called Creative Mode by Hawk Falcon on Thunderstore.io, which I will link in the description below. The mod, which enables instant placement of any building, plus has some terrain modification tools, saved me so much time, and with it, I added the water wheels, the power shafts, and did some of the later basin excavation. Note that I'm using the iron tail deep water pumps, but you can use folktail ones as well, since the destination water basin is quite shallow. You would just need to use lower platforms. Off camera, I tested with a basin of about half the size and the water didn't get very far at all before it just sat there, unmoving, and I had to wait for it to evaporate. So I expanded the basin before trying again. So anyway, now that you've seen some of my sped up building progress, let's get on to a proper live test. And just a gentle reminder, if you find this video interesting, please consider subscribing for more insanity. Okay. It is now time to test this thing out. We have a large pool here, which uh, we have an outlet for the pool here. The depth meter is telling us we have 2.92 depth of water currently. Now, I think what we wanna do is keep some of these drawing from the outside reservoir on, but then we wanna have all of these on as well. So let's just turn all of those on and see how it works. So there's a tiny bit of water that overflowed because I didn't have these all the way up at height three. Had it at 2.5 and it spilled, but it's not much. And as you can see, the water wheels are not turning. Uh, so we're gonna pause here. So this water course goes this way uh, and that way and around. And it follows this bottom lane all the way down, like way far down. I wanted to make this as long as possible. Well, not as long as possible. You could cover the whole map in this, but long enough because I wanted to see if we have a perpetual water machine going on. And once it goes out there, so this is one level, it spills into this basin and I have put these water pumps here. Oh, actually I could have put them a little bit closer if I want to add in some more. That might be necessary. We'll see, but are we ready? I guess we can go. All right, so let's go and turn these down to like height 1.5 and hopefully okay we're seeing some water come out let's just put this on a little bit faster speed okay and water is working all right water level is going down quite rapidly i want to see how far this gets i did have a tiny test where the pool was about half the size and one tile shallower so this definitely holds a lot more water. Currently we're producing 4,000 energy, but the question is how long is that gonna last? Uh, we have these grist mills here, but I don't think we have any wheat. I just wanted to use some of the energy we got, but let's see, this is, it is done. Let's go ahead and uh, just spill it or just open it up, completely open it up. Let out all the water. So let's see, the water is currently here. It continues to green all of this area. We are generating so much energy right now, but I feel very much that this is gonna be burst energy. And I don't know how long this is gonna last. So far, all of the water wheels are still turning. That's kind of crazy. Look at all of this energy. But how far is it gonna go? That's my question. 
because I learned that what happens is it usually like just spreads out and then it stops. Uh, but we'll see how far it gets. Let's see. Let's go, go, go. Come on, water. Go. So much energy. Oh, oh, it's dropping. Okay. So that means, let's see, if we look at our, whoops, not spot. Let's not pause. So the initial wheels are turning off and some of them are going, no, no, they're just turning off. Uh, they're fine. Let's go, go, go. Let's see. How far is this going? This is crazy. Let's go. Come on. Spread. Go. Do the thing. Do the stuff. Oh, it's it's really holding steady at about 10,000. But let's see how far it gets. It's going slower and slower here. Kind of wonder if there's a point where I should put the depth lower at some point. Though I feel like that's not maybe a possibility because this is already at second depth and I guess, I guess, well, we have uh, one more, one more depth. That's it. So I might have to raise the other ones up. So this is, it's going, it's going. Wow. We are actually at 17,000. I'm going to go ahead and pause for a second because what I want to do is I want to close the gates. Uh, let's close them up all the way to three and then start turning on these water dumps again so to fill it up some more and see kind of how long it takes for water to get here so we're gonna let that fill up a bit wow these are still running i'm really surprised about that let's see water is coming back wow this is just kind of nuts i didn't expect this to work honestly this is uh this is a long long distance for the water to spread we have just a little bit more to go. I don't know if we'll get it'll get there. This is also a closed channel. This is not connected at all. So we'll see, but this is, okay. We still have some random wheels turning. The water is spreading, spreading, spreading. Is it enough? Is it enough? Let's go, please. Maybe, maybe. Let's see, these are turning, turning all the way back here still. We have 9,000 power keeping on being generated so this is what a day's worth of lots of power <laughs> like a massive amount of power it's kind of kind of crazy okay so now water is going to get into here and we do need a separate source of water it cannot be infinite because um it, all of this gets uh if, there's evaporation that also goes on so okay so we made it back and we have now only 3000 in terms of wheels working right now. Uh, so that's, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting, but this is not filled up uh, yet. We're only at uh, less than a block right now, but that was also having a lot of water stored in these water tanks. And we do have a few people at the hauling post working. Let's see, how many people can we afford to move around? Okay, we have no, none unemployed. We might have to move some beavers in here. To get this going but let's see we have we do have one water tank that has a decent amount of water in it i guess we can place more water dumps to dump the water faster let's go ahead and do that let's pause this and then build some stuff let's see this is is that the right height probably maybe we'll see i guess yes it is the correct height Oh, uh, you're I'm gonna have to move that marker. Apparently it's in exactly the wrong spot, though maybe not. Maybe we don't need to move the marker. Let's just add this platform there, get a road. Maybe we'll remove that water dump and then just add it this way. We'll just delete this. Um, yes, delete and enter and put a road across here with a little bridge okay rotate there we go um hello oh i'm sorry we can't put a path there first uh let's delete the path yes and then get our bridge two tile bridge right there and then let's put these water dumps back or additional oh no 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 i messed that up didn't i I did, but it's not a major thing. We can fix it quite easily. Go here. That is right. I'll just delete that road real quick. All right. 
The railings are tricky. Delete, yes. And water dumps, let's place those down first and make sure we have everything the way we want it. Click, click, click. All the things, all the stuff. All right, I think that should be sufficient. And let's connect the road all the way up. All right, and we don't have enough beavers here, so we might have to move some from other towns. Let's do that real quick. Let's see, do we have any beavers for sale here? I mean, not for sale. <clears throat> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. Okay, move 20 beavers down to South Wheelton. Migrate. And let me check our housing situation. Okay, we do have enough housing. No, we don't. We need more housing, definitely. So I will build more housing. And maybe uh, just have a tiny little time with that triple lodge is nine inhabitants. All right, let's just build that real quick. Size two over there, hooray. Oh no, a beaver got stuck, help. Uh, okay, this is not good. Um, all right, the easiest way to get them out is just to build the pathway out here so they can go that way. Let's just let them go that way. And I think here what we want to do is have a two wide space. Beavers to get in there. Let's put this down here as well. Okay, and then one, two, three, and then another lodge. There we go. And pathways. Hooray. All right, so that gives our beavers some place to live. Let's see. This is now, we have housing for 81 beavers. Okay, so that should give us enough beavers working on this project. How high is the level now? It is at 1.35, so that is definitely not enough. But the wheels are still spinning, interestingly enough. That is really interesting. I wonder why. Because we shouldn't have water coming in through here. No. It is just spinning for whatever reason. I don't know why. Is it coming in through here? No, it's not. Because we are still in the dry season. It's not... Uh... This is just interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this this feels like a perpetual motion machine and I have no idea why. Maybe maybe having this flow down here is what's moving the water slightly. Huh. It looks like there's some depth there. I don't I can't figure it out though. That's really interesting. Okay, beavers, let's go. Let's go. Start dumping water. We need to start this machine again. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> this is absolutely amazingly crazy. I love it though. It's so good. <laughs> but the question is, and the main the main uh, query that we need to answer is, is this number of pumps enough? I think it might not be. Let me go ahead and fix this. Let's Let's just change this a tiny bit. So I want to delete some of these structures here. This is this is so crazy. I kind of love it though. It's really good. Uh, we're gonna move that path up one and shove these guys in because they do actually Tetris very well together. These uh, machines. So let's see. We can also prrr, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I think uh, if we add another set of platforms here. Should work. Is that one level below? Yes, it is. Okay. We will fix this. It'll be fine. Just add these across there. And then we will get to a water, deep water pump. Right there, 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 and not there, and here. Okay, so these, as I said, they can Tetris in very, very well together. And then we can also build some on this side. Let's extend our road. So make sure we have enough space. There we go. And then have another layer of platforms here. So we need to build uh, one level uh, down. 
And then another level there. And then we are going to get our water pumps. Let's add this here, 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 and there. I think we actually have room for another set. Possibly, maybe. Maybe, possibly. I guess we can, we can, you know what? Let's just build the whole thing. Just build it like crazy. Okay, so these share this. Then we need two, two pieces and then a road. Okay, so let's just think about that. We need that, two pieces and a road. Okay, so this one, two pieces, and then this road is going to be our road. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this will just be, we can delete those bits and then connect them up properly. I think we can easily do that. Okay, and then these are actually going to be that high. So what we want to do here is uh, make a tiny staircase. Can we actually, oh, ooh. Oh, 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 happy days are here again. The hooray is real. There we go. Boom. Except it's not close enough. <laughs> Whoops. Let's fix that just quickly. Just delete this entire thing. Yes, delete, delete. And get that to actually be here. And we do need to delete this road instead. This is completely not needed. Okay. We had to have that so that the city center could communicate with these buildings because they were a tiny bit too far. So let's go ahead and place this thing down. Okay, happy days are here again. La -da -da. Let's just add these. Oops, we should have done that instead. All right. And then regular platforms. Here we go. All right, so we have a structure. We'll add road here with stairs and happiness and joy. Uh, maybe, maybe joy. Or maybe not because this path doesn't connect. I actually, yeah, we kind of want that one to connect as well. All right, we'll fix this. We'll fix this staircase. Uh, but for right now, I do want to add just the platforms that we need to have going there and get this a tiny bit fixed up. Okay. No, let's do this instead. Oh yeah, this, this will work quite easily. It's not too bad. It is an easy fix. There. Yeah, that's easier. All right. Now we just add roads and make sure by checking and seeing if we can place these water pumps here. Boom, boom, boom. And there, 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 and there, and roads. This might be overkill. It might not be. This could be <laughs> very, just very much not overkill because you need a massive, massive amount of the pumps to actually get this to work. Now you don't need quite as many water dumps. And the reason for that is because the water dumps need three units of water to dump in at once. So, but having haulers is also gonna help the situation quite a lot. Now the downside of course is at the moment, we can't see the levels in this pool. But we can see that some of the water wheels are actually still working. We are still getting 11,000 horsepower. <laughs> that's a tiny bit nuts. What do you say? That's that's crazy wild. So this actually didn't take that long to fill up. Now we can see, okay, it's at 2.5 or yeah, 2.05, I should say, not 2.5. Um, we might also need to expand this section of pulling from the world but we also don't want to overload all of our channels as well because that uh, is going to disable the uh, the flow we need ha to have flow of the water going through the courses and then landing in this pond now it looks like the pond is kind of dried out there's very few of these pumps working and they do actually, most of them have workers in them. 
So yeah, we need to, maybe we need to have a lot more people pumping in this area. Uh, so we can maybe increase that area there, but let's have another go. Let's see, we're at 2.55. All right, we're ready for go two. So we are at 2.94 water level in this basin. Uh, we still have pumpers working here. All of these people are working, but this area has been paused. We do have a little bit in the tanks, but not actually very much. So 71 in the entire district. And that includes some water that has been delivered to the delivery stations over here, the drop off points. Shall we have another go? Let's do it. All right, let's go to two point. I think we were going to do uh, let's do height of two first. And let it spill out. All right, so let's go in triple speed here and watch things happen. This is really thrilling. This is so exciting, watching the numbers go up on how much uh, power we're producing. 2,000, 2,700, here it goes. This is, this is pretty cool. Now, I haven't quite worked out how much like outside water is needed to you know prevent evaporation and all that kind of stuff or how many pumps we've need here needed here we uh this is very experimental with this stuff oh do we need to have lower levies i think so let's move it to one because these guys have completely actually oh no 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 maybe not one hold on hold on it's spilling out no okay it's getting a little bit oh no that's not good crossing this border is not good so let's go at height. Oh, wow. Oh, hold on. Thingy. Okay, let's just let that go. We don't want it to spill to the other column. That's not good. Let's go height 1.5. Let's go height 1. Okay, 1 is too much. 1.5 is fine. I think. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We can do this. Watch the power be generated. Okay, so the water wheels are turning. How far has it gotten by now? Okay, it's only gotten to, oh, it's all the way over here so far. See, power is at 8,000. And then, of course, none of this power is being used, but that's okay. All right, let's keep on emptying this water if we can. Okay, the drought has ended. We need to be careful with that because this sometimes gets a little bit flooded, but it should be okay, I hope. All right, so water wheels are working. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is so cool. <laughs> Building one of these projects is just like nuts. Now this can be built completely with beavers. I designed it with roads and all this stuff, uh, and I built much of it with the beavers probably about, I don't know, 70% of all, all the walls and then 0% of the water wheels, but those could also be built. It's just, I wanted to get this video out to you and I didn't want to have to sit AFK at my computer. So that was what was currently happening. Oh no, what's going on now? There, did the water stop? It's kind of like no longer spreading. What's going on with this? No. Oh no, it's just sitting in the channel. This is not good. Okay, so it's at a height of 1.98, and it ain't moving. This is not great. We might need to... No, it is moving. It's just slow. I think it's slow. It's... I think what it's doing is it's like just spreading along the canal kind of thing. Oh, but this is a much different result than we had from the last test. This is, yeah, not good. Very not good. I wonder if we let too much spill out in the beginning where it kind of went over the border there. Because that was definitely not ideal. Let's see. Can we go height zero? Oh, whoops. I forgot to put it to height zero. That's what the problem is. Silly me. Okay, well, it's okay. We're getting little spurts of power, it seems like. All right, it'll take a little while for the extra water to get out there. I wonder if I should also um, change this gate here. You know what? We'll do that. We'll just change this one and get this tile out of the way. You can also, you can use dynamite, but you can also use these terrain height tools. So brush size one, brush height one, shift to go down. Hello? Oh, maybe. Uh, brush height one, brush size one. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. 
Okay. Anyway, um, I'll build the extra dam floodgate here. So let's see. We still have water in here. Where is it going? Okay, it has now come home. It's come back to us. But we had kind of a weird power output thing going on there. Uh, it does look like we have quite a few wheels running. Is this disconnected? Oh, it is. Look at that. It's disconnected from the main uh, area or something. Hello? Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's because I messed this up. All right. Let's fix that so we can get all of our power wheels working on the same network. That was a bit silly of me. It's okay, though. I think I anticipated a different pattern of these things, and that's why I had that one on the corner. But there we go. We have now those connected up to us, and we have 15,000 power. <laughs> that's a bit nuts. All right. So now these are closed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unpause all of these. And we are getting some more water because our beavers are busy working day and night. And the question on this, this seems to be really micromanagey. However, it does generate a fair amount of power. Uh, quite a fair amount of power that maybe is good for burst power. Because you can reset it like kind of every other day sort of thing. And um, this is on a non-hard mode map. So that's what our cycles are about. But yeah, this is this is kind of cool. It's 18,000 power. That's tons. Now, if we look and see what the balance of this is, we have 81 beavers, well, 74 adults, okay? And if we look at the power wheels, those give us 50 horsepower. So if all of the adults were working on this, and we do have farms and stuff, but 74 times 50 is 3,700 power with a power wheel. So this is a better thing, but I gotta say, um, it is a massive, massive construction. You probably won't need this many wheels though, because this is 24,000 power, 25,000 power, like masses and masses of power. Uh, so this is kind of exciting. It's kind of a, a neat project, a fun thing to do, entertaining like crazy. Uh, look at all those power wheels in the distance. This is absolutely nuts, man. This is like nuts, nuts. Just crazy, crazy nuts uh, power. And uh, yeah, anyway, just an idea. If you want to do this, thank you so much for the people who suggested this in the comments section. I was really curious as to how this might work. And man, did I get my question answered. <laughs> so anyway, let's see. What are we at right now? Yep, they're just barely, barely filling this stuff up. But this has been a very exciting experiment. Let me know what you think in the comments, because I think this is just kind of insanity, but amazing insanity. So Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.